Jacksonville's Gator Bowl gets the New Year football carnival rolling before nearly 40,000. Corny Salvatera's pass is deflected into the arms of Paul Rotenberry, and Georgia Tech is deep in Pittsburgh territory in the first few minutes. When Rotenberry charges off tackle, it's his turn to fumble. But Wade Mitchell recovers for a 10-yard gain. Ken Owen scores Tech's first touchdown. After Tech has scored again, Pitt has only two minutes of the half left. The Panthers make the most of it with Ralph Jellick barreling 28 yards to Tech's 36. Only 15 seconds left now. Salvaterra flings one high, wide, and handsome. Dick Bowen snatches it from two Tech backs and falls into the end zone for a Pitt touchdown. In the second half, Pitt can't check the Tech passing. Mitchell hits Jerry Neighbors for a 26-yard gain to the Panther 14. When Rotenberry hauls it across again, the Rambling Rex lead 21-7. The Never Say Die Panthers come snarling back with Salvaterra passing to All-America Joe Walton for 21 yards. Jellick goes smashing for another first down at the 11, but Pitt can't overcome the lead. Tech wins 21 to 14 despite Salvaterra's touchdown. Orange Bowl, 72 degrees, 75,000 addicts. Clemson's Charlie Bussey passes, trying to wipe out Colorado's lead. Bob Stransky intercepts and rambles back near the Clemson goal again. With some bone-bruising blocking clearing the way, Boyd Dollar scores. Colorado leads 20 to nothing, and it looks like a rout. The Tigers come back with fire in their eyes. After scoring one touchdown, Joel Wells bursts through the Buffaloes and scampers 58 yards for another. Last quarter, Colorado only six points ahead. Then Howard Cook fumbles. Tommy Cease recovers for Clemson on the Buffalo 11. Spooner cashes in the score, and now Clemson has wiped out a 20 to nothing lead and is one point ahead. But the Tigers can't stop 217-pound John Bayup. He lugs the leather to the goal, and Colorado wins a thriller diller 27 to 21 as he pounds over. The Dallas Cotton Bowl with 68,000 fans out, and they do things in a big way down in Texas. Texas Christian versus Syracuse. TCU showing a powerful air attack. Charles Curtis sharp shoots to Bill O'Day for 27 yards, and the Frogs are on their way. On a quick opener, Buddy Dyke, 196-pound fullback, explodes through to the Syracuse 7. The payoff play going again to the air. Chuck Curtis connects with John Nickel, and TCU goes on to a 14-0 lead. Syracuse bounces back with All-America Jimmy Brown sparking the play. He passes to Jim Ridlon to put the orange on the four. Brown, giving one of the greatest shows ever seen in a bowl, sweeps over for Syracuse to tie the game up 14-all at the half. TCU roaring back in the second half. Curtis passing like a magician. Jim Swink takes this one for 30 yards. It's a high-scoring, give-and-take battle. The Frogs again go two touchdowns ahead, but finally a blocked conversion is the only difference as TCU wins 28-27. to Capacity of 81,000 in the New Orleans Sugar Bowl to see unbeaten, untied Tennessee roll over Baylor. But somebody forgot to tell the Bears the plot. Del Schofter skips around right end and flits 54 yards down the sideline to Tennessee's 26. A few plays later, Bobby Jones slings a short pass to Jerry Marcantel and he smashes over the goal for a Baylor touchdown. Tennessee strikes back in the third quarter with its All-America back, Johnny Majors, leading the way. It's Majors again, going the other way, and he takes it down to the Baylor 5. 
Johnny just won't be denied. He threads his way over, and Tennessee goes ahead 7-6. Late in the fourth quarter, Schaffner gets off a booming punt down to Tennessee's seven-yard line. Majors tries to run it out. He's hit hard and fumbles. And Rube Saggy recovers for Baylor on the 15. That's all the chance Baylor asks. The Bears upset the nation's second-ranked team 13-7 with Buddy Humphrey plunging for the winning score. of them all and nearly a hundred thousand at Pasadena, California to see Iowa in a return match with Oregon State. The Hawkeyes beat them earlier by one point. This time Kenny Plain puts on a dazzling performance for Iowa. After faking a pass he's off for 50 yards and the touchdown. Still the first quarter. This time it's Don Dobrino breaking over right tackle, then cutting back. Thirty-seven yards to the Oregon State nine. Collins Hagler rips through the Bears for another touchdown, and Iowa leads 14 to nothing with the first quarter only half over. The Hawkeyes are still pouring it on in the second half. A super-duper double handoff springs Hagler loose, and he's long gone. This one's for 66 yards. The game is full of sensational runs, and Oregon State gets its share with the Beavers fighting back all the way. Here's John Nocera punting for Iowa. Paul Lowe picks it up on his own 20 and carries it all the way back into Iowa territory. The Beavers strike fast. Iowa wins 35 to 19, but Oregon State gets in the last punch on Joe Francis's 35-yard pass to Sterling Hammett. 